All right, I think it's time I tackled this question. I've seen so many people bring this up at this point, so let's just do it. So I've seen comments and people messaging me about new forms or versions of characters coming to Jump Force. Could this happen? Yeah, it could but it's most definitely not going to happen the way you're asking for. Originally, I saw this mainly with Dragon Ball Z characters, like people asking for Ultra Instinct Goku or Kid Goku or any other type of Goku. But now with My Hero Academia Season 4 coming to an end, I've seen an increase in people asking for infinite 100% full cowling Deku. Now this question is like an onion because there's a bunch of layers to it. So let's peel back the first layer. Will a different version of a character that is already on the roster take up a new character slot or in other words be dlc characters from dlc season 2 well spike is completely within their power to do this like if you remember back to the game playstation all-stars battle royale there were two versions of coma grath from infamous and they took up two different slots in jump force we could see something like adult goku and kid goku take up two different slots but listen real close for this next part there is no way this is going to happen can it happen yes like i just said but it won't why because this is a manga crossover game and do you know how many freaking characters they can add and that are very high requested they aren't going to waste time using a character slot to bring in the same character when they know they will make more money having more representation from any other series. And even if we take Dragon Ball for example and we have two different versions of Goku, wouldn't it make way more sense to have somebody like Teen Gohan or Gotenks take up a slot considering that that brings more representation to the Dragon Ball franchise even though it has plenty of representation than an actual other slot going to Goku, right? But there are other ways for different versions of the same character to be added. Some people ask me about updated movesets or alternate movesets. For example, we could swap out Delaware Detroit Smash 1 million percent with infinite 100% full Kaling Deku or at least have it be added as an awakening. But you see, that is so rare for game developers to do, and considering that the developers for this game are focused on adding special moves to DLC characters, I just don't see that happening for characters that are already on the roster. Although we could see new moves added to the avatars, like how Goku's Saiyan Saga Spirit Bomb was added to our avatars, even though that isn't part of the character's moveset in the game. Now are we all out of hope? Well, no, there's still one thing that I've personally been advocating for since the beginning, and that's skins. We have costumes for our avatars. Why not the actual characters? This wouldn't be a big deal for the developers to add, considering that they add clothing all the time to this game. Like with every new patch, there's a new costume. With every new event, there's new items. With this feature, we can make characters on the roster look like different versions of themselves. One Justice 2 actually lets characters be customized like if they were our avatars, but when it comes to Jump Force, I don't think that's all needed. They could just have a simple new costume for certain characters and that would be fine. I hope I made you guys understand the situation more, but let me know what you guys think. I want to thank you guys for watching and I would appreciate it if you left a like before you go. My name's Konjic and I'll talk to you in the next video.